And we have an Eyewitness News exclusive. Just days before Jennifer Dupois and Cynthia Houck were found murdered in their home, a private investigator tells us that Alan Dupois hired him to track his estranged wife. CBS 47's Justin Lum joins us live outside the Fresno County Jail where Dupois is booked. He's being held on a bail of over $3 million. Justin, you've got some insight into the suspect stemming back several months. Well, Ken, Catherine, believe it or not, Alan Duprat invited our crew into his home about 24 hours after the bodies of Jennifer Duprat and her mother, Cynthia Houck, were found. He told me a few days prior to that he hired a private detective to follow his estranged wife. And tonight we're learning what Duprat told that investigator leading up to the murders. You could just imagine chills running up my spine. Private my investigator spine. Michael Bra remembers that December day when news broke of 55 year old Jennifer Duprat and her mother, 88 year old Cynthia Houck, found murdered in their Fresno home. Just days prior, Bra says Jennifer's estranged husband, Alan Duprat, wanted his services and told him about his looming divorce, concerned about his financial future. He was upset because he had. Uh, prepared for retirement and and this divorce was was straining that according to broad Duprat told him the marriage started failing as Jennifer became more involved with a French club as president and he believed that she was seeing somebody uh, in the club and and that's the the, the the crux of the investigation he wanted me to find out uh, who she was who she was seeing if anybody in this club and yeah he, he definitely had some angst towards towards this club investigators say on December 4th of 2017 Alan Duprat set the Alliance Francais de Fresno on fire he's also accused of torching Cynthia Houck's car last November both cases of arson before hiring bra to track Jennifer's daily whereabouts I told him that we would rent him a GPS device he could take it, put it in her car, and he was to contact me when it was in there. But Bra says the tracking device never left Dupra's Kingsburg home until after the murders. From Monday when I when I gave it to him at 11 o'clock until it was taken into the police impound, it was down there the entire time. Bra is relieved he never started the investigation and didn't have any information to offer on Jennifer Dupra's alleged boyfriend. If this would have been a case where I had searched for this alleged lover and found him and then he would have done something to the lover, that's our worst nightmare. Ross says in his 10 years working as a PI, he has never experienced a case like this. Duprat now faces two counts of murder, two counts of arson, one count of possessing assault weapons, another count of vandalism, suspected of vandalism, vandalizing that French club's building before allegedly burning it down. Live outside the Fresno County Jail, Justin Lum, CBS 47. Eyewitness News. Justin Lum, thank you so much for that insight. For continuing coverage on this murder arrest, you can find more online by going to our website, yourcentralvalley.com. You can also download our mobile app. It's in the App Store and Google Play.